to check and see if this alternator or this wine that I'm hearing in this vehicle is related to bearings. This truck's been sitting overnight. I'm actually going to take the serpentine belt off, turn it on, let it run for, I mean, not any more than 30 seconds. And I'm gonna hear if that wine is not present when, uh, you know, make sure it's not related to something else. If it's, if it's related to a bearing, you know, we run it without the belt, the bearings aren't gonna be spinning. So it should be quiet. We'll see. But let's remove the uh, tension, or let's take the tension off the belt, take the belt off, and then we'll we'll turn it over and see what it sounds like. All right, let's take the tension off this belt. I wanted to do this first today, while I have uh, got the engine cold. We'll just let the tension off here. Slip it off. Everything, the belt is off there, so we can't run this very long. Just a few seconds, just to kind of get an idea of what it sounds like without any bearings running, because we don't have a water pump <laughs> attached right now to uh, the spinning of the engine. So without a water pump, this thing will heat up pretty quick, and we don't want to, you know, burn anything out. So let's just do this real quick and have a listen. No wine. No wine at all. That's what it should sound like. All right, I don't want to run any longer than that, but that pretty much confirms that uh, the wine is coming from either a, a bearing or or the alternator. Pretty sure it's coming from the alternator, but uh, that's how you can check real quick for bearing noise specifically. Just make sure you don't run the vehicle very long. With the serpentine belt back on, that wine should return. So let's see. Yep, definitely hearing that whine. So we gotta continue to try and track down what that is. 